I have a presentation today. Uh, my name is Francisco Vilate. Uh, I use sometimes the alias name of Ral Sahi. Um, so I'm going to be talking about a subject that is very interesting, interested for me. It's about the Asket and Nera photograph. Um, let me share my screen. Just give me a moment. So as I told you, I'm going to make a presentation about Aske Nera photos. Um, on July 1975, Billy Meyer took a long, a long trip with Pat and Semyase to different places, including the Dal universe. There in the trip, he met Asket again. It's a nice itty woman that was with Nera. Nera is at Asket friends. Uh, me, Billy made previous trips with Asket you know, to the Middle East, including India and different places. Uh, but inside the spaceship, Billy took three photos of them, of Nera and Asket. When Billy returned, he asked a man, somebody that was helping him with the photographs. Remember, uh, at this time, uh, the way that uh, somebody the way it worked that somebody was taking photograph is that they do did it with a camera with a film roll and send it to a lab to develop the photos so at this time uh, only when the photos return uh, the photographer could know if the photos were successful or not so he gave these photos to the person that was helping him uh, he took it for the lab when Millie received the photos back um, he didn't receive the original ones, but also uh, they include also altered photo photos for that were forged. But he didn't notice that at the beginning. He noticed that later on. Um, several photos of the great trip that he conducted with Atco, with Asket, excuse me, with Semjase and Pat uh, were fake. So it's a shame that a lot of roles were damaged by the people that was interfering with these photographs at the um, lab, the photo lab. Some people believe that Ascanera photos are not real. Actually, if you see, they are from the TV show from Dean Martin. Uh, in that time, it was called the gold figures, uh, as they call it. Uh, and there are some models that would, were participating with Dean Martin. It's an, any kind of type of show that was produced at this time. And as get photos showed, show uh, Michel de la Fab, and that is, looks like uh, in the place of uh, Asket. And for Nera, uh, we see a model called Susan Lund. Susan Lund and Michel, both of them work on the same show. But are the three photos really fake and are from the show? or is something else there. So we're gonna figure it out this today. Okay, so I would like to ask you to let me tell you a fable. That fable uh, give you an introduction on why uh, there are uh, fake photos and why some people don't trust on Billy because of that. So this fable, we have some learnings. It's not a fairy tale, so please do not expect a happy ending. Okay, this is not a fairy tale, just a fable that has some learnings, something to learn from that. So, as any fable, we always have animals. In this case, we have here the wise squirrel. The wise squirrel uh, was very close to the envious hyena. Uh, both of them were selling fruits at the market. Actually, they were uh, selling apples. So the wise squirrel could go very high, climb, climb, climbing or going very on the top of the trees, on the apple trees. And that way he could choose the best apple available. In Bucina, uh, Hyena, however, because the, he, she cannot get up into the trees, she has to collect the apples that goes to the ground. But the problem is that they are damaged. Some of them are rotten and contaminated. So the fruits that she offered to the other animals were not very good. So the wise squirrels all the time uh, 
provide excellent fruits. But the white squirrel cannot work uh, alone, so he requires the help of the scare rabbit. The scare rabbit um, is uh, an animal that helps him to collecting the apples that the white squirrel was uh, collecting from the top. They go down and the scare rabbit uh, take them immediately and put it in a basket. So that way the uh, fruits from the white squirrel was really good, uh, good shape and very useful to everybody. But the Imbus, uh, Imbus hyena was uh, feeling not happy. Uh, her fruits are, were not good, and the other animals preferred the so great apples offered hyena by the white squirrel. As a malevolent idea, uh, she decides to approach the scare rabbit and threaten him. She told the scare rabbit, you must help me. If you don't do it, we will kill your father kill your mother, your family member, and then we will kill you. Uh, what you have to do is very simple, but if you don't do it, you will be in big trolls. So the scare rabbit uh, was forced, or feel forced, to help the imbus hyena. Uh, that asked him to replace some of the great apples uh, by fake ones. Not all of them, because if they would replace all the good apples, all together by uh, bad ones, um, the white squirrels immediately will notice that something was wrong. So they decide to replace just a few of them, not all of them. So that's what they did. So the basket with the great apples from the white, uh, from the white squirrel had uh, good and bad apples from now on because they were putting bad apples inside the basket with the good ones. But the wise squirrel didn't notice that at the beginning. Other animals come to have uh, the famous great apples from the white squirrel, but they find in the basket there are rotten apple, apples, some of them very bad ones. So they think if there is one bad apple, in the basket, it means that all of them are ruined, are damaged. So they prefer not to buy anything. Okay, this is the end of the fable, very short one. As I told you, it's not a happy ending, but it has some learnings. What are the lessons that we have from there? If there is one rotten fruit among good ones, many people think all the fruits are rotten. That's very logical and only the wise one can pick up the good fruits. Billy Major material is like that. If you look at the photographs, you find the great fruits and the bad fruits, uh, the fortune ones and the real photographs. This is the case, for example, uh, that's mixture of good and bad fruits, uh, is the case of the Apollo Soyuz photos on the same great trip that Major did with Pat and Sam Jassy he took photos of the Apollo Soyuz. We can find some of the photos are from NASA uh, files, uh, artistic representations. So it's very clear that some of the photos from the Apollo Soyuz that Billy had when they returned from the lab were fake. But there are others that it's not possible to find something like that in the NASA albums or records on anywhere. So these photos, uh, fake ones, it, it make the people to conclude that these uh, photos from Billy were all fakes, all bad fruits, because just a few of them are not fine. Another case, another example, is the mixture uh, of the good and bad uh, photographs in the energy chips. On the right hand, you see the photo seven, 20. Uh, this is a result of a triple uh, or quadruple expo exposure. It's very clear. But to do this trick, uh, there are two possibilities. The first one is to um, doing that uh, multiple exposure in a photo lab, or in all, and the other option that I think is the one that was used here is to do it on the place using a tripod 
and uh, taking a shot while rotating the camera at the same time. That means uh, rotating the camera located in a tripod and at the same time uh, taking the photo. So any photographer can, with the left hand handle of the tripod, uh, make the camera rotate using that handle. And at the same time, with the right hand, pressing the shutter of the camera. So it requires uh, somebody with two hands. Billy didn't use a tripod for using for the, to use with the photo camera, only for the video camera, because it was heavy. For the photo camera, it's very small one, and he can handle with one arm, with one, one hand. So it's very clear that Billy could not take this uh, picture on the right, that 720. But the one on the left, the 7160, 716, shows an object, a long object. It's not round, it's not the moon. Uh, it's behind the hill. So we cannot explain that with a double exposure and not with the camera that Billy has, with, that cannot do an exposure more than four seconds. Okay, so we know the left one is authentic and the right one is not authentic. It's a forgery. Okay, so these are examples of the mixture of good and bad fruits. Uh, something that I have found is the recent photograph of the wedding cage UFOs. Billy was more careful at this time. Um, the person that was helping him with um, sending the photographs to the labs was no longer helping him. So Billy was more careful with the wedding cake UFO photographs. So we don't see that kind of forgery there. Okay, the wedding cake is a different story. Okay, now let, let us analyze the photographs. So the photographs are three. The, in the Billy Major catalog are the 109, 110, and 111, 111, three photographs. We are going to check them. Um, for the skeptics, uh, it's showing uh, Michel de la Fave on the left hand. Uh, Michel de la Fave is this lady, this one, and this is Susan Lund. Uh, clearly, these photos are from the show. Um, I'm not really sure about this one, but we will see it. But you may know that Michel de la Fab uh, went to Billy Mayer um, on 2017, and she went to Switzerland to meet Billy. Not because she was angry about uh, the use of her photos, but because she thinks Mayer is authentic. And you may watch at any time the interview and the nice conversation that took place between them. It's uh, very nice to hear the conversation between them and the mutual respect that they have. That's nice. Okay, but these photos are all of them from the show. So we are going to check that, okay? So I have here a video that comes from a, a skeptic uh, YouTube channel and they show, probably you have seen that before. And this is the link, the YouTube channel. It's showing the, um, the official video of uh, the Dean Martin show, and that's what I'm going to present with you. Probably you hear the music. Uh, okay, you see the gentleman in the middle is Dean Martin, and he's singing. Something that is very curious is that he is also smoking at the same time. That's something that we don't see right now on the TV. And all the models are sitting around. Let me stop here. So Michel de la Fab is here. Susan Lund is here. There's another model with uh, long hair, long, that will be appear on the photos as well. Okay, so let me continue. So, Welcome to my world. I am moving a little bit forward. Let me put the video. Okay, you see on the background, there are uh, some frames, uh, wooden frames that you will see on the photos that show us very clearly that the photos are from this show, okay? Oh, let me go back, sorry about that. 
Okay, so then when Dean Martin is singing, at some point of time, Seems there is a change of a view that shows uh, Michelle de la Part and Susan Lund. It's coming right now. Two friends. Okay, you see here Michelle, Susan, and the other model with the long blonde hair. And they keep singing and then go back to Dean. And they continue singing. Let me go forward. At some point of time, there's another take. And you will see it here. Uh, Michelle is singing. Um, Susan Lone is behind her, so you don't see her here because uh, in the position of the camera, she is behind uh, Michelle. But you see the other model with the long blonde hair. Okay, and the shows continue. Then go back to Dean Martin and he continues singing and all the models. Okay, I know you want to see the full show, but I prefer just to move forward, okay? You can see it later on the link that I gave you in this presentation. I can send it to you on the chat if you like at the end of this presentation. Uh, so we see basically two shots. The first one on the left, uh, we find Michel de la Fave and Susan Don. You see the, the background, the wooden frames on the background. Uh, these are the only two shots and we see Michelle in some detail and they are very similar to the photographs, right? So let's see. Let's start it with the photo 109. Okay, I'm sure you see here in this photo, what well, first of all, just notice that they, these photos are a little bit blurry. They are not in good focus. Um, you may know that if Billy was in a spaceship uh, and taking photos of somebody uh, with his camera that is an Olympus EC, Olympus ECR that, uh, that has the uh, the um, focus system stuck in, fin in at infinity, all the photos that are closer than three meters will be blurry. And in this case, uh, taking a photograph of the people close to him, probably at one and a half meters or two meters away, they will be blurry as well. So that's uh, very clear. All right. So yes, uh, they should be uh, out of focus. The original photos should be like that. Uh, I'm sure you see the two ladies, but I'm not sure if you have seen the man that is in this photo. There's Dean Martin is at the same in the same place in this photo. I'm going to show it to you. So Dean Martin is here. This is the, his hair. Is the right ear, the hair, continue the hair, the face, one of his eyes. So this is the uh, shirt color, color. Uh, you see here a little thing that is the microphone. So Dean Martin is uh, overlaid to the photos of the ladies. So uh, here you see it more clear. So I'm drawing on the top of that. All right, so here we see uh, the two aspects. And the first one on the left hand, you see the photo, the 109. On the right hand, you see the overlay of the two uh, images. I produced that one using an ear interlace um, effect because it's uh, moving from one SN is seen a shot that has the models. And the next shot is Dean Martin. So there is, is a transition in a TV set uh, and also in the different formats, for example, NTSC format and PAL, PAL video format, that interlace is happening. The interlace is that it make mixture or make a mixture of, of uh, frames, lines from one shot or one of the takes and the next one. So you see uh, the composition of both images together. Um, here you see the two pictures, but something that is interesting, if you look at uh, Susan Lund in the background behind Dean Martin, uh, the eyes or the position of the eyes points to the mouth of uh, Michelle. But here the eyes points to the middle of the nose. It's not exactly the same one. And if you see here at uh, Dean Martin, uh, the right eye of Dean Martin, 
the face of Susan Long goes from the middle of the right eye. Here is a little bit to the left, close to the nose. And also in the background, you notice uh, here there's some uh, uh, frames, uh, wooden frames that here are in different position. And also the lady that is here has the hair on top of his her last right shoulder, but here you don't see that the hair is behind. So it's not the same. So it looks like uh, another shot, another video, but not the official one. Or probably somebody with a camera was taking photographs in at the studio, but it's not from the video. So this shot is from the video. This one is what Billy received, but they are not coming from the same source. Okay, so somebody taking a picture on a TV screen or whatever can never produce that kind of picture using this video that is the official one. Okay, and also this is the frame of what has to be taken. So imagine Billy just looking at the TV with the full screen here, but only focusing this little frame. So that means that he has to be maybe 20 to 30 centimeters close to the TV for taking this picture. In that way, uh, the image will be totally blurred, uh, out of focus, because it's a stock on infinity, his camera. So it's not possible that Billy took this photograph. And also at this distance, all the interlaced line will be visible here. So you will see different lines from one from Dean Martin, uh, interlace with the two models, but we don't see that here. So I'm sure that this photograph is not taken from the video and Billy could not possibly do that. Okay, this is the photo 111. I will be talking about the 110 at the end, but this is a better one. This is not showing that uh, composition of two images. In this case, the 111, um, it's still blurry, yes, uh, we see both models, uh, but we notice there is a shoulder of another actress here, somebody else, okay? Um, also the wooden frames on the background. Here you see the comparison of the photographs. Again, the uh, middle point of the eyes of uh, Susan Lund points to the mouth of uh, Michel de la Fab. Here is different. And also, you may notice that the space of the hair here between the two models here is, is very narrow and here is bigger. So that gives us a conclusion that whoever is taking this shot on the left hand is cl close to the camera, but is not the TV camera recording this. It's at the right of the camera, uh, most probably higher, in, in higher position, but is not taken from the camera. Maybe somebody at the studio taking photographs with a camera close to the TV camera. Um, notice again the hair, and you see here the frames, and the frames are not fulfilling the full image like here. So the position is totally different to the right and in a higher position. So this photograph again, like the previous one, is not coming from this video. It's impossible. And again, you see the frame, uh, the rectangle. So that means that Billy has to be very close to the TV to take that, which is not possible to have a good shot. Nobody could take that shot because the video, it does not represent what we see on the photograph. Now let's take a look at the 110. Is that a good or a bad apple? Let, let, let us take a closer look to that one. Okay, that's a very interesting one. Why? Okay, first of all, we see the three photographs. I'm not sure, but we try to see at the beginning that is the same lady. It's very similar, right? The three photographs. But if you look in detail, you see this lady is a little bit older, also has a bigger head. It's not like a small one, like Michelle has here. It's bigger. Well, let, let's Let's look at that in more detail. Okay, so this is a photograph and that would be the frame. Uh, you see, it's not the same. Uh, you see uh, the head of uh, this lady is bigger than this one, 
Also, some phase, the phase configuration is a little bit different. Yes, it's similar, but it is not the same. And something that is very curious is that the model that is close to Michelle here is also blonde hair, has a blonde hair as Mich at Michelle. Why we see it very dark? And what happened here? Where is the face of the model with this dark hair? What is happening? Okay, so it's missing. We don't see it. It's not possible that all of that is black and we don't see a face here. What we had found uh, doing a image enhancement is that the right hand part of the photograph shows a black area. And you look at detail, it's like if somebody has cut the negative. Somebody cut the negative to hide the face of the lady that was here. Why somebody would do that? Um, I asked Billy and he, Billy was surprised to see that this is happening. Uh, we know that Billy, uh, in some cases, he cut negatives in order to hide the ETs, um, ET, an ET lady. Um, I think it was Menara or somebody else that he has to cut the negative because Menara didn't want to be on the photographs or whoever it is. It, but in this case, make no sense that he's hiding the face of Nera, but not asking why not showing one ET, but showing the other one. Probably somebody else keep this photograph, the original one, and that lady was very similar to Michelle, so they keep it. But the lady here was not very similar to the model that was uh, on the video. So they decided to cut it. All right. Okay. You see, this is a photograph that I found in a skeptic site some years ago, around 2012. They, this skeptic site presented that as a proof that uh, the photos of Aske and Nera are taken from the show. So they presented this photograph and they said that it was on a show on 1971. And that photo was provided by Michel de la Fab. I think this is not true. Uh, why? Because if you look at the official Gold Diggers website, you see a very similar photograph. You see basically the same models, mm, maybe around the same time. You see uh, Susan Long is about the same age or the same face, uh, this model too. But you see Michelle, and look at that face. That's Michelle de la Fab. Why this lady is completely different? It's very simple. This photo is fake. Somebody used Photoshop or something like that to fake this photo to demonstrate that this lady, Michelle de la Fab, was asked. So make uh, her appear very similar to the photo one, one, zero uh, here, but this is uh, a fake photograph. Also here, you see more photographs on the same show. Uh, just look at the uh, dress. The dress is the same. And if you look at the dresses on the video, you may also notice that uh, they are the same, the blue dress. So in this case, is from the same day, the same show. But this lady is not this lady. And this lady is not this lady. This one has a big head. This one has a smaller head for a very young person. This is a very young person. Something that is very curious is like we don't see here that hair with this uh, little, how you call, well, little pieces of the hair that uh, are very similar to what the photograph of the lady in the photograph one, one zero has. But here you don't see that. So, uh, it shows um, uh, that this photograph is fake. This is the real Michelle de la Fab. It's not that lady that looks like the lady in the 1110 photograph. I think it is important to have a skeptics. I have been a skeptic as well. Uh, because I am a skeptic, I do investigation about the evidence to make sure if it's uh, true or if it's real or if it's fake. I have not found any a fake uh, um, evidence in Billy Major material. Yes, I found fake photographs, but it's not, they are not produced by him, by somebody else. Uh, 
Uh, so it's good to have a skeptics. In some cases, it's very useful because they um, give us new ideas and they help us to see the evidence again, making sure that everything is correct in order to find the truth. But if we find manipulated evidence like this one, it does not help to find the truth. So it's very difficult to work with the skeptics that manipulate the evidence. Okay. Another interesting analysis is the one that is being done here, is the, how symmetrical is the face. Um, one way to do it, if you enhance the image, you see the pupil, so you draw a point on one of the pupil, another point on the other pupil, you draw a line, also draw the middle line of the middle of the face and check the angle. In the case of this lady in the 110 photograph is completely square, it's 90 degrees. In the case of Michelle, if you notice in many different photos of her, it's very clear that the, her right eye is a higher position than the left eye. Uh, actually, that asymmetry is nice as well. Michelle is a very nice lady with a symmetrical face, but Michelle is not the same as this lady. Uh, you can say, okay, the hair is different. Somebody put a different hairstyle. So probably you are thinking that it's not the same lady because has a different hair or the size of the hair is different, but you cannot change the school uh, um, uh, position or the, fa the, the face of asymmetry or no symmetry of the face. So it's something that cannot be different, okay? So it gives us some uh, conclusions. Uh, the first is that if Billy used his camera to take a photo of these two ET women, uh, he would be around two to one to two meters away from his camera, the ladies on the spaceship. So the faces of these women might be blurred, uh, out of focus as they are. Secondly, uh, Billy, if Billy took photos from the TV set, he must be at 20 to 30 centimeters from the screen. And we will see horizontal interlace line, and we don't see that in these photos. And with the camera that he used, that is a Stockham Infinity, and this is confirmed by different uh, investigators as, uh, when they start to investigate his case. So it's not possible to take this kind of photos so close to the screen. Also, the photos 109 and 111 are from the Dean Martin show. It's very clear. You see the background, you see the ladies. So they're from the Dean Martin show. show. Uh, and she presents Michelle de la Fab and Susan Don. But not Billy, not anyone else. Nobody could take the photos that Billy received uh, from the lab and that are fake. Nobody could take them from the video. Any, anyone, any, anybody from the video can take the photo because as we show you, it's completely in completely different position, okay? Um, the photos could be taken by a photographer close to the camera at the right hand, uh, a little bit higher, close to the TV camera, but at the studio. Uh, or in, maybe there's another non-official video that somebody uses to fake the photos, but that's not the official one that was released. Another uh, conclusion is that the photo 110 shows an older woman, not uh, Michelle. So that lady has a bigger intracranial space of so bigger head, symmetrical uh, proportion, not like Michelle, that is not symmetrical. And this lady is not the model. They are different women. So probably photo 110 might show the real asket. I'm not sure about what you think, but I found very amazing to watch a photograph that probably, most probably, is showing us a woman that is an ET traveler that is capable to go into another universe, is very wise, as has been here for a long time, and is very wise. So for me, this is very interesting. Uh, so do we have a rotten and fresh apples uh, apples here too? So yes, for sure. I think there are both of them in the Asket and Era picture. Uh, if you want, you can uh, learn more. Uh, I'm giving you the links. Uh, the first one is for the video of the 
lady singing in the Dean Martin show. Uh, this one is the visit of uh, Michel de la Fab visiting uh, Mayer in 2017. And this one is uh, one that I produce in my channel in English and Spanish. Uh, here you see an um, interview that, that was uh, conducted to Folchen and she talked about Asket and that she met her when uh, Fowl was nine years old. Fowl, as you know, is, uh, was a representative from Cambodia to the United Nations. So she was a diplomat. Okay, so basically this is the end of my presentation. Uh, do you have any question, Michael? I give you the microphone back to you.